Hi, welcome to our second episode of Life with the Shark Lab. Today we're going to talk about some of the wildlife we find here at Sask. So we are based in South Africa, specifically in the Cape Well coast, and South Africa is home to approximately 260 species of sharks and their relatives. Specifically here in Walker Bay, we have 62 species of sharks, skates, rays and chimeras. And this is where Sask is also based. Of these species, 30% are endemic to southern Africa, meaning they are found nowhere else in the world. So our most commonly sighted sharks are the shy sharks, including the puff adder, brown and dark shy sharks. One cool fact about these species is that they glow in the dark. In the presence of a predator or when they feel threatened, they can be observed to curl up, also called donating. This is where they get their name, the shy shark, as they cover their head with their tail. Next we have the soup fin shark, named so as they aggregate in schools, meaning many can be caught in one go, making them very popular for shark fin soup. Due to this, there has been a significant decline, 98.5% worldwide. We also get leopard and pyjama cat sharks. These are a common sight at Sask. They're very easy to identify due to their distinct patterns. Leopard cat sharks look like a leopard and pyjama cat sharks are named because of the distinct striping pattern just like a pair of pyjamas. We also have spotted gully sharks, another one of South African's endemic sharks. They are thought to be different subpopulations on the east and west coasts of South Africa, geographically restricted to the different oceans. We also find smoothhound sharks here. They have unusual teeth. We think of most shark teeth as having these really long, sharp and pointy teeth, but smoothhounds have flattened teeth that form a crushing plate. We also have broad-nosed seven gill sharks here. Normally seven gills are associated with deep water, so it's awesome to find them in relatively shallow water. Seven gills also hold the same place in the food chain as great white sharks. Also, they've been seen to hunt in packs as well. This shark needs no introduction. Many people visit South Africa specifically to find great white sharks. They are the largest predatory shark and can reach speeds of 56 kilometers per hour. We also study some of the local skate and ray species. These include the biscuit skate and the spearnose skate. They look similar to rays as they're flat, but they have a few differences, one of which is in their reproductive system. Rays have live births, whereas skates lay eggs like these. Egg cases are also known as mermaid purses. Skate eggs can be identified due to having horns, whereas shark eggs have curly tendrils. As much as we find many sharks here, the Cape Well Coast gets its name due to the abundance of southern right whales that come here to calf in the winter months, with about 5,000 to 6,000 individuals appearing each year, arriving between June and October. We don't only find southern right whales here, we occasionally see humpback whales, killer whales, bottlenose dolphins, common dolphins and brutus whales. We also have the joy of seeing Cape fur seals on our doorstep, we especially love seeing their pups. Last but not least, the rock hyrax. Although they are not aquatic, we love seeing them running around in front of the lab every day. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in to the second episode of Life at the Shark Lab. Special thanks to the Women in Shark Science program and SASC. Make sure you subscribe to their YouTube, Facebook and Instagram pages.